Hello everyone, this is Fred. Today I'm gonna to randomly showcase some uses of my daily Obsidian um, settings. First of all, I have to say I use this structured folding system, folder system, only because I'm gonna to showcase in YouTube videos. Um, Normally, I still suggest people can use the Lattle Custom um, system to create your own map of content. But today, we're gonna to follow this uh, as our round down. Okay, so let's dive in. First, I'm gonna to showcase this um, Workbench plugin. So, um, we can go to settings. If you have a Download the plugin. You can go to the community plugins and then turn off the save mode. Use browse and go to the search workbench. Okay, as you installed, you have to uh, go to the options and set a specific note for your workbench. And then I suggest you to use the checkbox prefix later you will see how it um, what's its purpose okay and then remember this alt click type so what happens when you alt click on a link default is to copy the link into the workbench okay if a cursor is not already on the target line you may need to double click okay and the other one I just think is super useful is meta alt click type. You can set what happens when you comment because I use Mac alt click on line. It defaults is to link the line as a block into the workbench. Okay. So I, ch I, I change it into the copy line. Later we'll see. So here I'm going to demo a bit. Remember the one I set my file into the 06 means June log MD node. Okay. So this is the internal link I created. Okay. I think we should go to the preview mode and press alt. Press alt and uh, click the notes the daily notes okay now I will just randomly type something and we will see the 06 lock and down at the bottom of this note you will create a daily note for you okay so as we can see you can go to this file automatically okay when I use this when I trying to quickly connect some files and generate new files, I will do this. Yeah. And the other part, I use it um, the command alt function meta alt. I usually use it in my daily um, daily done projects. I will show you. <clears throat> For example, today is on July 3rd and um, okay, now you can see these are my night log, maybe I can type something here, okay, so okay, I'll say I, I made my own breakfast made my own lunch and made my own dinner okay so now i'm gonna to make all the three nodes into my june log system okay so now i will just simply use alt command together and uh, click at the bottom of this line two three okay so when i go to the june log you'll see this three line 
with check boxes here. Okay. So, yeah, you just create these lines here. Okay. So, you can just, you don't need to copy paste from your daily log to your monthly log. You just have to use this workbench system. Okay. But, a deeper thought, because Obsidian now can use Kanban plugin. So now, as if you just see my file, this log file actually is a Kanban mm, uh, showcase system. So I can simply just make it into a Kanban system to see, to, to take an overview of all my files, all my logs, and for example, this made my own breakfast. I put, I should put it in others because I have different um, categories. Now I can really simple just um, put it here. It's a really easy way for you to move around all your tasks by the Kanban system. So. At the end of June, actually, you can just see how many work you've, you've done. For example, the category of Obsidian Learning here, I've done all this and other things. My note taking system and the archive and my videos. Yeah. And you, you can also just move all around this, the settings because I have, um, key oh, what's that hot keys for my transformation of the compound view and the original view by pressing alt command k so i can come back here if i want to see this in a list way yeah basically this is how i use it okay second one I'll show you the how to make slides. Yeah. Okay. Really simple. In Obsidian, you just use this three dash, and you, you can you can use that the separation of the slides. For example, this one, and this is second page. This is third page. Okay. And you just have to go here. You don't have to install any plugin. Just go this three dots here for more. And uh, so, start presentation. Okay. Yeah. Right click, left click. If you want to quickly demo something without leaving Obsidian, you can just come here. Okay. And um, oh, this query block is also good to use. For example, you just have to type this um, can see the three things and then type query as you can see here I've already clicked one query tag to do tag yeah and then three oops three things again okay then you can see all the text will show up. So it's quite easy for you to use it. Maybe we can check another one. Okay. Query tag. Let me check. Ingredient, what's that? Oh, banana, cabbage, carrots, all this have the category, uh, have the tag of ingredients. Yeah. So it's a really useful and simple function as long as you have your own tagging system. 
Okay, next one is the pin. Okay, so pin and workspace. Okay, actually, pin you don't have to download any specific plugin. But for example, now you have uh, the recent plugin is here, and the calendar plugin is here, the command plugin is here, your to do, your tasks is uh, here. Okay, Dangle Links plugin is here. So, okay, this one is your workplace settings. Maybe I can add one more. Um, okay. Maybe, oops, um, maybe I can make it into a local graph, local graph, okay, okay, so if this is the workplace of my settings, then I can, um, make it, make computer memorize for me, make the settings remembered, okay, so just, and P and work. Oh no, we have to first demo the pin. Okay, so you can just pin here, pin this one, so it won't move. It will move, but um, I think it's when you try to move. Um, Yeah, maybe I I make something wrong, but oh, hey, you still can drag it. Okay, never mind. But this is a pin function. Uh, what I want to show you is the workspace. It's more important. Okay, so go to the plugins and the, the work place. Mm -hmm. Workbench. Workspace. Mm -hmm. Workplace. Check. Work. No. Let me check. Workplace. Ah, workplaces. Manage workplaces. Okay, as you can see, these are some of my. Um, so now we can set this new one into a one. Okay, so I change the all. You will go back to my all settings. Normally, sometimes I use this one. And now, if I want to check, I I want to go back to the one. Work. Place. No. Work. Space. Yeah. Load workspace. So we go back one. Okay, we will show this again with your graph of pin. Well, graph, local graph view. Your the other two here. Okay, so that's it. And um, maybe I go with the uh, iframe, so I can command W, close it, close this one. Okay, so iFriend actually lets you to preview different kind of um, files inside the Obsidian. For example, YouTube, Weather, or Google Excel Sheet. Okay, these are some examples I already put here. So when I preview, you can see these some of the charts import from the internet youtube and even the weather from the windy.com yeah you can simply use all this to preview inside your obsidian okay do you have to install any plugin mm, i don't remember i free convert to preview yeah you have to you have to convert U URL to preview. Okay. And then, oh, this one, I also like it. Um, it's a small technique. Control, 
Shift I. You can call out this. It's not emoji, but it's some icons that you can import it here. And of course, you have to download this icon icon plugin here. Yeah, quite useful. And um, URL toward. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Focus mode. For example, you are doing something really needs your focus, but you don't want to um, close this one, close that one, blah blah blah. You can set this focus mode by. This is my some hotkeys. I will show you command. Control F. Okay, things will go. Okay, and um, if 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 now you have like um, wait a second. Okay, if you have two separate pen, Command Control F will leave. You have this too at the same time, but if you use Command Control G, you will only have one pane. Really clean, really beautiful. Just have to type here, no any distractions, just you and Obsidian. Yes, okay, let me go back. Yeah, I like, I really like the focus mode. And uh, if you ask me why my um, screen is a little bit transparent, that's because you can transparent. Actually, I didn't know what what I taught, what I translucent. I think trans. Oops, <laughs> I forget. Okay, maybe here. Okay, trans. Hmm. Opacity, maybe. Opa. No. But I only know one thing is um, appearance. You can translucent window. Actually, you can um, just uh, toggle it. Yeah. I think you will have this kind of transparent view. Okay, I think uh, that's it for today. Hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions or any uh, better ideas for using Obsidian, please share with me. This is just some um, small technique I use during my daily life. Yeah. Thank you so much. See you next time.